Aeronav is pleased to present a brief overview of very basic vibration theory, and we will follow up with several videos showing equipment in our test laboratory. Vibration is a mechanical phenomenon whereby oscillatory motion occurs about a point of equilibrium. The motions may be periodic, such as with a tuning fork, or random, such as that encountered in a vehicle's interactions with the road surface. Vibration testing is performed to demonstrate the ability of equipment to withstand the expected dynamic vibration stresses encountered in service. There are a number of vibration modes uh, which are characterized by very different patterns. Sinusoidal vibration is characterized by amplitudes that vary sinusoidally with time. Random vibration is characterized by irregular, non-repeating patterns and amplitudes versus time. The next two are what's called mixed modes, where you mix sinusoidal and random. Sine and random vibration occurs when sine and random vibration are present simultaneously when generated in service. Random and random vibration occurs when two different random vibration patterns, and the key word here is different, when two different random vibration patterns are produced simultaneously in service. Note, of the four that are shown, Mixed mode vibration patterns more closely simulate real world conditions. We also have the ability to simulate gunfire test patterns, and they are available which simulate the vibration caused by overpressure pulses produced in the vicinity of armaments. Vibration testing is performed on a shaker machine by inputting a forcing function into a fixture which supports the device under test. The response or motion of the test item is observed, and that is the response to the input forcing function. Okay. Sinusoidal vibration is characterized by a pattern varying sinusoidally in amplitude versus time, as shown below. Random vibration is characterized by a random non-repeating, and that's the key word, non-repeating pattern. Amplitude versus time also is shown below. Random vibration is shown in amplitude versus, in this case, amplitude versus frequency. On the left is sinusoidal vibration, which is the standard classical sinusoidal waveform, which is repeating in time and in amplitude. Random vibration, one can see, is irregular, non-repeating, and can have many, many different shapes dependent upon the vehicle, the road surface, etc., etc. This is a curve taken from Mill Standard 810 for random vibration. And if one looks at the old curve shown here, what this represents is a, an envelope. Now, many, many tests have been run under actual service conditions, and the tests that have been found all fit within the patterns of those tests, all fit within that envelope. So if your equipment can pass the stresses imposed by that envelope, it will certainly pass in the field. <coughs> 